Hello everyone, I am Martinus Bagus Wijaksono and today I would like to share a tutorial entitled CSWA Sample Exam. Let the tutorial begin. First, we have to open a new part. And then uh, in the question, we have a parameter A, B, C. So we have to put the parameter, those all uh, parameters in the equation. Right click the equation, minutes equation, and then here we put A equal to 63 and then uh, B equal to 50 and C equal to 100. Okay. Next, uh, Based on the drawing, I will use top plane as my plane to put my drawing here. So right click at the, at the top plane and then go to sketch. First, I will draw a rectangle here. Put the start point on the origin and then start create a rectangle. And put smart dimension for the width is equal to B. So the global variable we pick B. And then for the length of our rectangle equal to C in global variables. Okay. After we have the rectangle we can go to feature and then extrude wash. For the depth we can put A as our depth. Yes, so we have finished with the uh, box as the uh, primary model. Next, we will go to this area. <coughs> I will use this surface to create my rectangle. So I will uh, draw a rectangle here, right click this surface and then uh, go to sketch triangle here normal to just draw an arbitrary next we can put the dimension so this is uh, this point to this uh, this edge equal to 15 and then uh, for the length of the piece 40 and this angle is 20 degree and the other angle here is 45 next we can put the radius here there is 10 millimeter radius so we can go to fillet and then uh, make sure that the radius is 10 millimeter and then click this point so we have radius 10 here next we can use uh, x to bit cut in the feature and uh, in the indian condition we can pick through all instead of blind because we will we want to make a um, a hole from the surface until uh, the rear surface here okay next I will go to this area <coughs> this area there is a uh, uh, some contours that will use to uh, extrude cut this model so again right click on the surface and then go to sketch and I will uh, draw a circle here and the dimension of the circle is 40 because in the drawing we see there is R20 so here the diameter is 40 and the distance between the center to the base is 35 okay and then uh, I will create a 
or draw a line from this quadrant to vertically to the the edge here and then go to uh, this point until quadrant here so we have a close contour here and then I will uh, trim away this unnecessary contour so we have a close contour here and I will use this contour to uh, extrude cut the model and the depth is 9 mm okay and then uh, from this surface I will draw a hole here just draw a circle here and put the dimension here of the circle this is a uh, 10 mm and the distance from the center to the edge here is 10 mm as well and the distance between the center to the edge of the base is 35 okay again we can go to feature and then extrude cut to cut uh, this model using an condition through all okay and uh, next I will go to upstairs here we can draw a rectangle to cut this model so again I still use the surface right click on it and then go to the sketch I will normal to the view and here I use this rectangle put uh, the start point at this corner and then start to draw a rectangle here put the dimension of the width is 15 and then for the length is 40 okay again go to the feature extrude cut and then pick through all yes so the shape is like this and then uh, i will go to upper surface here right click on the surface and then sketch to normal to the view and again i will use the rectangle create rectangle from this corner until here and then for the width of the rectangle is 12 and for the length is 50 again we will cut uh, this model using this triangle uh, using this rectangle go to extruded cut and then pick through all instead of line okay uh, for this for this uh, radius here there is a radius and a flat surface at this uh, position I will draw using the rear surface here so right click the surface and then sketch normal to and uh, again we draw a circle use this edge as a, a place to put our center point of our circle okay put the dimension dimension of the circle is 60 because there is r30 and the distance between the center to the edge here is 35 okay and then again uh, i will use a line to create some contour from this quadrant 
vertically until it reach uh, the upper edge and then go to this corner and back to this quadrant so we have a cross contour as well and I will trim away uh, the excess contour that I do not need it so we have contour like this and uh, I will use this contour to cut the model feature x to grid cut and then equal to B minus 8 okay so this is the correct uh, cutting next I will continue to uh, create another another uh, extrude cut so right now I will use uh, front surface right click on it and then sketch go to normal tool and start to create circle again put a dimension for this circle uh, the diameter is 50 because in the drawing we see that there is a R25 and same with the previous circle so the position or the distance between the center to this surface equal to 35 and I will use this circle to cut the model through all uh, I will use this surface again to put my sketch right click on it click sketch and then uh, we can take or extract this line and put it in this surface so I will use uh, convert entities and then click this line so after we click OK we will have uh, a line here on the surface okay and I do not want to use this continuous line so I will change to uh, center line click the line and then check the core construction here so we have the center line and then I will put my circle at the end of the center line and if the dimension of the circle is 50 as well because there is R25 in the drawing okay and feature again extruded cut and the depth is 13 yes and here uh, we have the we have excess material here we can cut it off so i will use the surface to put uh, my drawing and i will draw a rectangle to cut away this excess material just create an arbitrary uh, rectangle as long as the excess material inside the rectangle that we made then that is okay so extrude cut and then uh, just do all it and okay back to uh, this pocket over here I will create an island here so right click the surface and then uh, sketch and here I will draw a circle at the end of this surface so this is a flat surface and then after that we have an arc surface so at the end of the flat surface we can put the center of our circle and then uh, if the dimension 
dimension is uh, 20 for diameter because there is R10 <coughs> oke okay. and to make a close contour so I will again take this surface oh sorry this edge and this edge I will use convert entities and then pick this edge and this R here okay again we can trim away the excess contour so we have a close contour here and uh, using the feature we can extubate boss the last contour that we have made uh, the depth is 5 mm okay we have like this and then again from this island we can make our uh, shaft again right click the surface and then sketch and draw a circle here and if the dimension of the circle is um, this is 10 millimeter for the diameter and then again extrude it pause uh, here we have no a uh, dimension on the drawing so uh, we can check that the surface of the, this island is equal with this surface so we can go to uh, end condition here and then pick up to surface because we want to make this island flat the, the 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 upper surface of this island is flat with this surface so up to surface and then pick this surface as the reference so we have the island equal to the surface okay plus two steps we have a hole here and also triangle here I will uh, go to the triangle first right click on the surface here sketch and then normal to and draw an arbitrary triangle again and put the dimension for the height of the triangle is 18 and then uh, the, the angle here is 20 So we use this triangle to cut model X to bit cut and then pick through all instead of line. Almost done and we can go to upper surface here, right click on it, sketch normal to and draw a circle here with the dimension of the circle that is 10 mm as the diameter. And then uh, the distance between center to the edge here is 9 mm and then from the center to the edge over there is 30 mm okay and then we can uh, add extrude the model through all and yep finish okay I think I put a, a wrong dimension here so I will check the sketch the first sketch the first sketch here uh, this is C okay and this is B so it should be B not Okay, well, I think I put a different parameter here. A is 63 and then B is 50. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. No, it look bigger than previous. Because I'm curious with this 
position here, position of the hole, slightly different with the uh, drawing. So after we check that I put a different parameter here. For B, it should be 50, but uh, previous I put 40 through 42. Okay, right now it's uh, finished. Then we can uh, change the material here. Uh, for the material is Cooper. So I will choose Cooper. Right click on the material and then pick Cooper. Yeah. And then uh, the last step, we can check the overall mass. So the question is what is the overall mass of the part in grams so we can go to evaluate and then mass properties check uh, the mass over here for the mass is 1280.33 grams and then in the answer choice choices uh, so they have been rounded up so we can choose B 1280 gram here we have 1280.33 grams so it's almost equal has been rounded up okay we have finished with the model so I think this is the end of my tutorial thank you for watching the video see you in the next video